Breaking news into HQ, Colts quarterback Carson Wentz has been placed on the COVID-19 list. He is unvaccinated, but it is unknown if he will be able to play on Sunday when Indianapolis hosts the Colts, or excuse me, hosts the Raiders in week 17. The Colts, of course, nine and six right now on the season, fighting for playoff spots and positioning. Carson Wentz, 3,200 yards passing this season, 25 touchdowns and six interceptions to see what he's been able to do since week six of the NFL season with his new team the Colts eight and two that record ranks third in the NFL and the Colts certainly turning around their season in the last 10 weeks here let's go ahead and bring in Jonathan Jones our senior NFL reporter and insider Jonathan what does this mean for Carson Wentz and the Colts? He's unvaccinated, but we know the COVID rules are constantly changing and in flux. So will he be able to play on Sunday? Yeah, that's the question, right? And the Colts want to know the answer to that question. And in speaking with folks in Indianapolis, they're all waiting right now on what the new NFL and NFLPA joint protocols ultimately are going to be. We all know, uh, unless we've been under a rock, that there is a new CDC recommendation out there that has cut uh, the quarantine time in half for folks who test positive for COVID-19. How that's going to impact the protocols in the NFL is to be determined, but we are all anticipating that that will certainly happen this week. So has Carson Wentz tested positive for COVID-19? In this moment, I have not been able to confirm whether he has tested positive or if he is a high-risk close contact. What does high-risk close contact mean? Well, if you are unvaccinated, that is the only way that you can be considered a high-risk close contact in the NFL this season. They do not give that designation out to vaccinated players. And so if you are a high-risk close contact, what the league does and what they say is, that you had exposure to a confirmed positive person and you were around that person, masked or unmasked, you know, you go into all sorts of uh, what bullet points were checked off there. And that presumably for Carson Wentz and the Colts would have happened on Monday. Now on Tuesday, you begin the clock of five days. And as you look at the calendar, the fifth day would be Saturday. If Carson Wentz were to test negative for each of those five days, he would be eligible to return on Sunday, which of course is when the Colts play the Raiders. If he were to test positive under the protocols that are currently in place today, there is no question that Carson Wentz as an unvaccinated player would be unable to play against the Raiders. But if he tests positive and there are new protocols, which again, the NFL and NFLPA are working together right now uh, and they hope to have those out this week, what would those protocols be? I, as someone who has been following this very closely for the last almost two years now, find it difficult to believe that any new protocols would allow an unvaccinated player who tests positive for COVID and that test comes through on a Tuesday to be eligible to return uh, for that Sunday game. I cannot say that yet for sure because we do not yet know the protocols. Of course, when we do know those, we'll keep you posted here on CBS Sports HQ. Now, just last night on Monday Night Football, we saw what COVID can do to a quarterback group, the New Orleans Saints down to their fourth QB and, and Ian Book. So what are the options right now for the Colts if Carson Wentz is in fact out Sunday? Well, the Colts are in a tight race right now. They're in a race for the AFC South. They're in a race for that wild card spot. And I think that a, a number of folks had sort of penciled the Colts into the playoffs with uh, if they maintain the health, certainly the way that defense is playing, the most opportunistic defense in the NFL in terms of takeaways. When you look at Jonathan Taylor, the best running back that's going right now in the NFL, and Carson Wentz has not been turning the football over. And so uh, who do they go with? Well, they love Sam Ellinger out of Texas, who they drafted uh, in the third day of the draft. And they really liked him in the preseason as he rocketed up the depth chart, had a comeback win in the preseason against the Carolina Panthers, but he had a knee sprain and that set him back just a little bit. Hasn't really gotten any action uh, so far in this regular season. Nothing of note as Carson Wentz has taken something like 98, 99% of the snaps. But the other option, Mike, is obviously giving a call to old Phillip Rivers down in mm -hmm. Alabama. And uh, there was a report out there that the New Orleans Saints gave Phillip Rivers a call last week, the game that you mentioned, of course. He said, yeah, no thanks. I'm going to spend the holidays with my family. But obviously, Phillip Rivers has been keeping himself in shape. He knows this offense, having just left it less than a year ago. And so it would make a lot of sense 
if the Colts don't have Carson Wentz for this game, and certainly if they don't have Carson Wentz for the Week 18 game. Again, we don't know that, but if they decide, hey, we can go with our rookie Sam Ellinger, or we want to bring back the future Hall of Famer, the guy who knows our offense, the guy who helped us to the playoffs last season, just to get us over this hump, they could call Phillip Rivers. Yeah, timing of this, certainly not great for the Colts and the AFC South. Jonathan Jones, thank you so much. Breaking news, Carson Wentz on the COVID list. We'll see if he can play on Sunday. Jonathan Jones, again, thank you. Now, remember, you can check out Inside the NFL later tonight at 9.30 p.m. That streams exclusively on Paramount+. Plus. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.